I think I might have actually a, like a stalker on my hands. Like I could get assassinated and then she would take my place and she would almost like take Martin and start a new life and Christian and, and my family. It's like, it's, it's, a, it's over the top weird. Good morning guys. Long time no see. I know that. You probably wonder where I've been. I've been doing a lot of things. I've been working a lot and it's just been a lot basically. I tried to take some time uh, off this summer. You know that probably I think. But because of uh, different reasons, I wasn't really allowed to relax because it was a company that uh, well, I'm not gonna go into details, but I had to more or less quit my vacation and start working because I had no choice. And after that, me and Christian went to Skiatos in Greece. And after that, me and mom went to Iceland. And on those two trips, I decided that I wanted to go like radio silence almost, but instead I found or rediscovered my love for taking pictures, even though it was just with my phone, but I took a lot of really nice pictures from both of those trips. They're up on my Instagram, Selena's place, so you can find them there if you want to see it. And after that, it's just been work, 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 work. And I've been working at a trade show in Stockholm. Uh, I've been having my five day, um, certification class so all that was super fun and there has just been no time for me to edit because to be really really honest with you guys the youtube thing like these kind of videos i don't i don't get any money from this and sometimes it's like i need to prioritize stuff that actually brings me an income so that is kind of what i had to do and also, I'm kind of in a weird mode right now when it comes to my social media and YouTube in general. I am transforming me myself like and my social media platforms as well because I'm so... And I know that I've been talking about this. I'm so sick and tired of the shallow, shiny surface and I want to make something real. I want to... I want to make a difference. I want to do something more than just upload pretty pictures and pretty videos. I love doing the videos for Light Elegance, for example, so don't get me wrong. They're amazing and they're very, of course, it's inspiring, hopefully for you guys. So, uh, but all the other videos, I just wanted to have some kind of a meaning so that is kind of what I'm trying to figure out right now because it's hard to sit down and just randomly edit like a tutorial or something right now when I'm not really... Uh, I don't know how to even explain this when I want it to be more than just a shallow tutorial I don't know if this makes sense in any way but this is where I'm at right now I just want to evolve I feel like I'm evolving and I want... I need to figure out kind of where the social media comes in play with that. Uh, sorry, I think it sounds very weird, maybe. I'm not disappearing. I would say like, in the contrary, I mean, I will definitely be here and I want to make something meaningful. I want to make something that will make you feel better. I don't know, I want to help people. <laughs> Inspiring, empowering, I have, a a project that I started before summer that I really want to um, continue working with. So now that I've had some time to relax and gather myself, I feel like I have more energy to do that. And I also have a lot of fun things coming up. I have a UK tour, I have a Canada tour, another five day training class. So if you are if you are interested in all my classes, you can find them at selinawriter.com, you know that. But anyways, I figured I haven't been doing a vlog for a really, 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 really long time. And today we are, um, right now I'm having my breakfast. Martin is right down here. He is very tired. I'm very tired as well. We're actually going to the studio. We have two clients and after that, I need to uh, book my flights for Canada. 
So I really need to get that going. By the way, like another thing that's been taking up my time recently is actually, you know, my band, Star Cassette. I feel right now that I need to add more of those things into my life. It's like soul food. It's just something that has nothing to do with the nail industry. And don't get me wrong, I love the nail industry. But it's nice to do something that it's not related to that, just kind of relax your brain. So anyways, that was a quick update of what's going on in my life. I'm not leaving you, and I didn't leave you. It's just that I had to take a little break, gather myself, work a little bit, and hopefully, you know, we'll get right back on track, like, now. If you want to see what I'm up to for the rest of the day, you just have to uh, continue watching. You know how it works. You're tired, Martin. By the way, I just wanted to show you my new code, which I code, which I am in love with. I don't know if you can see it really, but you uh, tie it up in the middle, and it's like really puffy and cozy, and I really, 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 really love it. I needed a new one for fall, so this is what I got. But I'm super happy with it. It's from Sara, and uh, it was not cheap, but it was not super expensive either. So. Somewhere in between. Martin is really excited. He wants to uh, get going to the studio. So we're going to do that now. Eller hur, Martin? Ja, nu går vi. Ska vi gå nu? Kom, kom. So if you guys are following me on my Insta story on um, Selena's place, I talked about this little guy. Right here. And no, I didn't pick up smoking or anything. It's just a wooden stick. It looks like that. It is to help my jaw relax because it has those little, what do you call it? Those little divots in it. And then you just put your lip in it and then it pulls your jaw forward. So then it puts less pressure back here. As you know, I have migraines and I press down on my teeth, like I bite down really, really hard, like all the time, but especially when I'm sleeping, but like the entire day as well. So uh, this just kind of gives a little bit of relief to the jaw and hopefully it will also kind of teach um, my body how a relaxed, what do you call it? like relaxed position of the jaw, what that feels like. So I am doing this for about a month and then I'm going back because this is like a legit <laughs> legit thing it's not like a, a wish thing or something it's from a jaw dentist specialist and then after that we're probably gonna build up my my teeth back here because then it's gonna put less pressure on it I don't know how it works I'm probably gonna get one of those not braces but you know what I mean so when you bite down you don't bite down as hard I don't know we're gonna take it step by step but I look like a weirdo walking around like this right now all the time but it does help <laughs> for those of you guys are wondering it's called a gap nap gap nap I think it's a Swedish invention I, and I even think that it's I don't know if the the dentist that I want to see if it's her invention even you can google it I don't know if it's available anywhere else but I know some of you are asking so yeah but that's what it is
just finished up the first client for the day and me and Martin are getting ready to take a little walk, of course. Martin, we could go out. Up and out. I think we really did. Naren, it's a kid. Ah, it's a kid. Naren. Well, he was rolling around like one second ago, so he is pretty happy about the idea of going out. So we're gonna do that, come back. Uh, I will have to leave him for two seconds while I go and grab some lunch, come back here, have that, have the next client and try to be done before my cleaning lady gets here. Hopefully it's gonna work out. So, we go in there. Yeah, we go in there. Peace. Du hungrig. Vad ska du ha lunch? Fixa det. Ja, men då gör vi det. Okej, då kör vi. Okej, ja. Random fact, I think I might have actually like a stalker on my hands. It's a bit weird. It's not like the type of stalker that would show up around your house or uh, up here. Hey. I think it should be considered as being stalking behavior. And it's a bit weird and scary. Not so much scary, but weird. It's this person who um, has decided that she wants to Okay, so how should I describe this? She copies everything I do, like with even, I'm not just talking like nails and stuff like that, but it could be like I have my personal page and she started something like similar with kind of the similar name. I can tell that she's uh, really looking at the pictures that I'm taking and trying to copy that as much as he can. And she, uh, there's like so much and some of it I think I'm gonna keep to myself because I know how this sounds, but just trust me that it's it's beyond the regular, you know, when you have someone that really looks up to you and and wants to be you, but it's like beyond that. So I don't know, it probably not, I don't know if it would, it would be considered to be like stalking, but do you understand what I mean? It's like in the zone right between where it's fan, but stalking, but... It's not like she's showing appreciation to the stuff that I do, it's just that it's really clear like she would love to have my life and she will do whatever it takes to make it look like it. So it's kind of weird. Maybe this sounds super douchey, I don't mean it to sound super douchey, it just really struck my mind right now because it's been going on for a fairly long time but it has escalated pretty fast the past maybe six months. So yeah, as long as it's not, I mean, I don't feel threatened or anything. So as long as it's not threatening, then I'll just let it be, but it's weird. It's really weird. I love grilled sushi. Those two are grilled. If you haven't tried it out, oh my god, you need to try it out. If you have a place around you that does it, but oh my god, it's so good. And Martin is keeping me company, like always. By the way, I just need to clarify with the stalking thing, whatever you want to call it. Don't feel like I'm targeting you guys, because it's not like that. Like, if someone tags me and uh, or if you're inspired by my sets or something like that. By the way, I love it when you tag me in the sets when you are inspired by me, because then I can, you know, something, you know, I try to comment. I always double tap and give it a like if I can. I mean, I think that's the least I can do. So please continue. If you are inspired by me, go ahead and tag me and, and be inspired. I love that. Uh, this is just something completely different. And it's when it gets to the point of being very uncomfortable. It's like, yeah, as I said, it's just someone who it almost like if I can exaggerate like a lot, <laughs> like I could get assassinated and then she would take my place and she would almost like take Martin and start a new life and with Christian and, and my family. It's like it's it's a, it's over the top weird. So don't don't feel like I'm I'm targeting any one of you because yeah, don't take it the wrong way.
So if you didn't know this, the Swedish fika is a very important tradition in uh, the Swedish culture. It is basically taking a coffee break with some pastries or a cookie or something. So usually I have tea, but today I need coffee because I'm still super tired. Martin Snella. He always thinks that someone is coming in here, is waiting for the client. He gets really anxious and excited and oh god. Anyways, coffee time today because I'm still very tired from last weekend or the last week when I did my five day training. It was so much fun but it's very intensive so I'm still very tired. home actually I had to uh, basically run out of the studio as soon as it was done because I had um, some cleaning help so she came and I had to run out of there because I don't want to be in her way and so me and Martin went back home uh, I've been here with my computer now trying to book my tickets flight tickets for canada because i am as you might know now uh, going to canada in october so i have to schedule that and it's uh, kind of a messy trip it's a little bit all over the place so i can't do it myself i i had to call in um, and get help from a travel agency they're really good so i always use the same one so I'm right now just waiting for them to get back to me. Maybe they will get back tonight or maybe tomorrow. But they will send me an email as soon as they have a suggestion. So that's good. Now I'm going to take a look at that. So hopefully we'll have everything sorted out by tomorrow. And what else? I was really happy with the nails that I did today. And it's nice to have, you know, both short and long nails to work with. Um... So Christian just got back home and now we are going to have a chill evening and uh, that's pretty much it. So nothing more fun will probably happen tonight. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy dog. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you in uh, the next video. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. So uh, Selena right in for nails and Selena's place for my personal page and uh, so on. Okay. Bye. Hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'll be